uh, a couple months ago, we were up by crazy lake. Site. The truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What, what was that called again? Ah, oh, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. A Crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, buildings, structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that... I mean, we never see them where wild animals would build them. Trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. You finished? Oh, no, I'm sorry. The guys back in the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're... Just ask it. I see things. Stop on the old Belknap Road. What was that called? I can't hide in here. Oh, they see me. Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. A crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, buildings, structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that. We never see them where wild animals would build them. In trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. You, you finished? I'm sorry. The guy. 
guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just ask it. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a crime. Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at... Salome Hot Springs. Oh, yes. Salome. On Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, give me the head of John the Baptist, and the king was struck sad. Quite the name for a resort. No oh, shit. Again, some things about the old world I don't miss. Upload complete. Yeah. I the Bible. Jesus, this is taking forever. Reciting Bible uh, verses. Forever is a long time. That must be nice. Flying all over hell and gone and finding time to read. Jesus, O'Brien. Don't hell? Hell? Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here before Got of fuel. spots me. Double check. O'Brien. O'Brien, are you there? I can't talk right now. I'll be on this channel later. Out. O'Brien? Oh, God damn it. I'm getting tired of being your errand boy, O'Brien. How's the arm? You know, it's about 50% there. <laughs> Sorry, the life you there. I'm sorry, I'm blind there. Seriously though, it's like I can still feel my right hand, you know? Yeah, I think they call that phantom pain. Yeah, yeah, that's what Addie said. It... <laughs> Need that? Uh, you were saying something? Yeah, yeah, that's what Addie said. It... Sucks. I feel pain in my finger joints, you know? Like, after a long ride, your hand gets gummed up. I, I go to flex it and... Anyway, I, I gotta get going. Skizzle's got me on farm duty. I'm gonna see if I can uh, pay off these damn pain meds that Addy has me on. Later. Later. This is Tucker. Stop by. I've got work for you. Hmm. Tuck, hey. Okay. I'll see if I can make time deacon out. That should be it. Hey, uh, deacon? Can you stop by? Oh, let me guess. You got a job for me. Yeah. Okay. St. John out.
resold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated. Okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. Let's take a look around. All right, where? Back on track. Oh shit, there he is! Man, come on! Oh, no, you're not gonna get away. Don't let him get away, Deke. Alive. Alive? Oh, come on. No. Why? Before he ran, he stole two bags of seed. Deke, we need those seeds. Ah, shit. We need to know where he sold them or stashed them. You're making my day a lot more complicated, but... F okay, fine. I'll chase him down. Deacon out. <sighs> You're mine now. Oh, shit. There he is. Now, 
But I'm gonna wait each. How's it going, Lynch man? What, is the camp not feeding you well enough? Fuck you! Thought you just killed a couple guys right off with our shit? Don't matter if a bunch of folks here die of starvation because you got what you need, right? <laughs> Get off of me, you son of a bitch! Hey, 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 listen to me. Rick is gonna send some men for you. You tell them where you stash the seeds, maybe they'll just shoot you, you know, instead of hanging you slow. What do you think about that? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> okay, man, suit yourself. Hey, Ricky, I got him, and I'll uh, send you his position. Send someone out here to pick him up. Does he have the seeds on his bike? Wait, please, don't leave me here. No, no, I didn't see him. All right, we'll bring him in. Boss Lake out. See you, Lynch man. Hey, good to see you. Hey, how's it going? Good one. Yep, that's nice. Uh, yep. Thanks for stopping by. Hey, man. How's it going? Nice. Good haul. That's it. Yep. Thanks. How's it going? Just looking around.
Shit, your bike's drained, Deke. Need fuel? That'll last you. All right, I got you. Sure. All right. All right. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo. He can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last night. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes? Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? A few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down, shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but the Transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least... Fine, okay, let's go. Look, well, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, I made infirmary. Would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh, from the look in your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you.
Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was a hundred miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? I grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. The roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Well, that Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addie. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. I just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Uh, okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addy? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You've never thanked me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where'd you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? Uh, Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's gonna track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. You just wanted out of marsh duty. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky. Nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just, no. No. Nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. All right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. Where are you going? Down here. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up would keep the hordes from coming in. Hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Hmm. All right, come on, I want to check something out.
<laughs> Come here, touch this. Come on. Hmm. Okay. You feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. Up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the penstock. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad, brothers? No. Let's figure this out. <clears throat> well, this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you. Yeah, it's, it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it though. Run back down to the turbine. See if it's vibrating at all. Nothing. Wait a second. There it is. Yep, that did it. You feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. But these are the ones feeding the lines going south. I right, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? Uh, all right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? God, he's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use his cap. Here, boost me up. Okay, okay got it. Uh, there. Here, I got the gate. Come on, junction room's right around here. Oh, God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. From the smell of it, more than a couple. Stay close. How many Molotovs you got with you? Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. Yeah, it's been a while, but I remember.
useful. Time to burn. like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. The heart of the people. <laughs> All right, let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. He just, uh... You never mentioned him before, so I'm, you know, I'm sorry if I, if it's uh, something you didn't want to talk about. No, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you, back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky, Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. What? No, hey, hey. Come on, we gotta get moving. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. Stay put. Those are kind of far from home, aren't you? North, aren't you? Huh? You don't want to get too far away from Carlos, do you? Oh, shit. Oh, 
don't we just leave you here to bleed out, huh? Make all the freaks out here happy, yeah? Huh? Isn't doing? that what you want? No, 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 no. Go straight to hell! Oh, yeah, Mason. Iron Mike has a huh? Like Listen to me. Finally. We're from Lost Lake. Come on! I think it's the last of them. No idea. Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other issue is. Oh, ah, uh, bath salts. Remember? That was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. Scrap. Really think that Iron Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm, after what they did to Dick. Lisa, what? This was clutched in one of their hands. Stop you? How'd you end up in the MC? It's a 
long story. We got a long ride. Okay, I, I was a member of the 10th Mountain, part of a forward unit working with the Northern Alliance. Shit, I didn't know you were in the Army. Why were... You want to hear this or not? Sorry. We were advancing on Mazari Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way, and they were in flatbed trucks Decked out with ZU-23s, modified anti-aircraft guns. Big guns. Yeah, really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff, right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? One giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear, and when I came to, the the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I uh, I pulled a body back to shore. And I did that seven more times. And by the by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. And when I came home, so I, uh, I bought a bike, spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and, um... Uh, to farewell? You grew up around here, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so by the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this... by this old guy named Jack. And, uh, he ran the club. He, uh... Well, the press, that's what we used to call him. He patched me in himself. Wait, Jack, I remember who you talking about him. He was in prison or something. Some bad shit went down and, and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Sounds like you guys are pretty tight. Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need. Can I ask you something? God, like I said before, could I stop you? Why are you still flying colors? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You a loser. It's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or, or staking out territory. No. A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once. They said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear them because we wear them. What do you want? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just, cut, that's who I am. I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well, Let's just say that it's one of the few things that I don't forget. Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before and hordes. I know. Not like this.